So we're going to find the totals. So what totals did you find for chain one? And that was an N and that was a summation of X squared. So chain one, what was the total? Chain one, what was the total? 28. 28. And how many were they? There were five, is it? In the chain. Five observations. And what is the summation of X squared? Uh, Square them individually. What are you getting? Quickly. On the chain one, I was getting 168. Confirmed. Someone should confirm that. 168 is correct. I've confirmed it. Then next, chain two. Uh, chain three, uh, two, the total was uh, 39. How many are they? Still five? Five. Commission of X squared? And three, 11. Three, 11. Three, 11. And chain four, chain three, the total? Uh, the total is 42. 42. Then here? Five. Mm -hmm. Then here? I found 358. 358. Okay. Then how did you find the sum of um, square total? Mm. On the EX, isn't it on the EX? So I had to add uh, the totals. So I found 109. I don't know anybody to confirm. You found 42 oh, yeah. and five and what? Three that what? 358. 358. Mm. And what was the summation of X? What was our N? And the summation of X squared. Yeah, you found what? Uh, one zero nine for ex. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, n I found fifteen. Then eight thirty seven. Eight thirty seven. Mm hmm. And how do you find the sum of square total? Ex uh, minus ex squared over n. Mm hmm. So it was eight thirty seven. Minus uh one zero two squared over fifteen. One zero two one zero nine. Oh sorry, one zero nine. Uh, over what? Fifteen. Uh, fifteen, yes. What did you get? Uh forty four point nine four. You can confirm that one. I was still calculating. Yeah. Yeah. Some square between. I was still calculating that one. Is that one person who's uh, abreast with what I was teaching? It's almost square total. She found forty four point nine four or nine three about some square uh, within. What did you find? Some square between and seven point seven three. 
Are we together so far? Please confirm you about this. Confirm what you're finding. Collins, for me, I found 21.73. I don't know where I got it from. 21.73. 73 on the S SSB. Yeah, it's 21.73. So confirm you got those figures. Anyone else who got these figures? Are we following? Grace, are we on the same page? Patrick? Um, I'm just catching up. I had joined and I was, I started following late, but I think I've caught up. I've managed to figure out how to do the calculations. All right. The next setup, the another table. Is anyone lost behind, anywhere behind? But let's just confirm what the textbook got before we proceed. So the total of course they use slightly different method, but the sum of square a total was nine a four four nine point nine three is that what we found? Then when we go to the sum of square between found the sum of square between is twenty one point seven three, which we found as well. And the difference between some spare uh, total and uh, between is within, which is 23.2, which they found. So now we need to set up the ANOVA table, which looks like this. So some of square between, some of square within, some of square total. All right, then the F. So since some of square between is 21.73, some of square total was 44.93, then the total was a difference there. Now I'll be asked questions in reverse. How was the two calculated and what, how was the two calculated? Begin with since. How was the two and the 12 calculated? Hmm. Merci. Since uh, is it n is uh is where is n sorry n is fifteen so k sorry k mm -hmm. it's supposed to be k minus one yes and our k is what okay is five it's three it's three that's okay it's three oh it's three yes yeah it's three then how did we get the two it was k minus uh, three, k minus one. Which is what? Three minus one, which is two. Three. Two. How do we get the 12, somebody? Grace, how did we get the 12? Patrick, can we get the, the 12? So again, since what? 
our k was three and our n was what? 15. 15. So k n minus k. So 15 minus three, that's how the power was. Now we get the 14, we add two plus 12, which is 14. And how do we get the 10.83? How did this calculate? We divided the two into 21. 12 into 23. So this is how these two figures were found. How did we find the 5.63? We divide the 1.9 into the 10. So this is an upper table with your calculations done by yourself. Isn't this easy? It's far better than probability. Yes. True. Right. Yeah, it's easy just to follow the formulas. <laughs> so the table is the formula itself. So now we go to reading the table. Use this degree of freedom, 2,4. We're given at 5%, for instance. 2,4. So if the F calculated is more than the answer we're going to find from the table, we reject so our statistical tables, let's go to our statistical tables. We go to the F table, which is the table we've never used. So the percentage is the title of the page. So we have the 5% table, we have a 1% table, we have a 0.1% table. So here, we're going to use our 5% table, because we're given 5%. So how do we read the F table? We get the readings here, 2,12. So the 12 is the, coming from here, the 2 is the treatment coming from there, where they meet. So 2,12, the within is always coming from this side. So there's 2 there, and there's 12. So our F calculated is 3.89, 3.89. So whenever the F is more than that, we reject. Otherwise, we fail to reject or we accept, like others would say. So what is our decision here? Accept. Why? Because this is small. This must be bigger to reject. If no, we reject, if this one is greater, we reject. So whenever we're rejecting, it means there's a statistical difference. So in this case, you need to follow the five steps of hypothesis testing. Number one, state the hypothesis. Since we had how many treatments? We had three um, column populations. So we say step one, set the hypothesis. Here we say mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3. And here we say at least one is different. Step two, you set the level of significance. What is our level of significance? The level of significance is what? 5%. Step three, we illustrate the F calculated, which is at 5%. 2,12. So what we got from the table 2,12, we put it here. So our 2,12 was 3.87. Okay, you put 3.87. So if the answer we get is in the shaded region, we reject. If we accept region, we accept. So what was our F calculated? Our F calculated was 5.67. So let's identify where the 5.67 will be. So 5.67 is somewhere here, the rejection region. So step four, we calculate the F calculated, it was 5.67. Then here we make a conclusion. Since F calculated, which is 5.67, is greater than 3.87. At 5% level of significance, what do we do? We reject H O.
reject the SOR. Oh. So this goes in tandem with the number. If the treatments here were four, would have written M, mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3 is equal to mu4. So step one is the hypothesis. So there are three chains there. So that's why putting mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3. And here just say at least one is different. Step two, that's step one. Step two, we state the level of significance. Our level of significance is what? 5%. It will be given. Okay. Step three, calculate the, the decision rule after we find that the table. In fact, step three, you usually do it after the table has been done. Then step four is what we're doing here. We calculate the ANOVA table, which we have done here, ANOVA table. So we're being given compare at 0 0.05. So 0 0.05, when you go into the table, you discover that 0 0.05 is giving us a 5.67. All right, so any questions so far? Any questions so far? Let me go to CBU paper. I'm not going to calculate, but just want you to explain to me what is supposed to be done so that you get the gist. Okay. So we're given three most popular TV stations. So what is our N and what is our K from here? Our K is three. And our N is uh, four. I mean, 12, that will be 12, our N. Okay, our our K is what? Uh, three. Okay, our K is three. Our N. So our N uh, that would be twelve. N is twelve, correct. So you see what type of an experiment is there? Okay, this is a randomized um. Um, block. Then here you ask the evidence at five percent that the differ the difference between the three um shows show A, B, and C. So now you need to calculate your own uh sum of square uh between total etc. Okay, so ideally I get back to you. Those um doing the CBU paper, it's it's tougher because you do this on your own. For the illness group, you are given the computations uh, as simple as that. So we have simplified your paper so much. Let me look at the The Venus paper. So this is the paper. I know that doesn't miss the way it comes. It's just bulky. So I know that the method one, method two, method three. So we are told, assuming that. All requirements for ANOVA code to test for F, given that the SSB is this and SSW is that. Three marks. So, meaning we need to come up with the ANOVA table. So, let's come up with the ANOVA table together. So, what are the three sources of variations? So, we have source, we have sum of square, we have degree of freedom. We have the mean of squares, and we have, uh, let me put it on top there. So we have source, small square, bigger freedom, mean of squares, 
and the F calculated. So let's start with uh, the three sources. What are the three sources we have? Between? Between. Then? Within. Within. Total. Total. Right. So between, we've been given as what? 432. 432. 13. Then within we've been given as what? 237. 237. Then how do we get the total? We add 232. We add within and between. All right, what do we get? Two three. Two eight. Two eight. Then how do you find what is our degree of freedom for between? Oh. What is our degree of freedom for with the uh so this is two eight what? Two eight zero four point nine three. Then here between Is it K minus? Exactly. Three. Three minus one. Two. Two. What is our N? So that will be um, the N minus K. Mm -hmm. 15 minus. 15 minus 3, which is 12. So here we have what? 12. And the total? 14. And the mean of squares? 2 into 4, 3, 2, 1. Eight. What do we get? Two one six point zero seven. One six point zero seven. Then the next one here. Twelve and two two three point seven two point eight. Two, we get? One ninety seven. Mm -hmm. Point seven three. Then what is the F calculated? Two one six zero seven divided by one ninety seven point three. What do we get? Two. <laughs> one point. One point one point zero ninety five, one point zero nine. All right. So what is our F statistic? That is one point zero nine. Then to the table, how are we going to read it? The F tabulated. It is two comma what? This have given us at uh, one percent here. It will be f at one percent two comma twelve. Let's check. So here, what they're asking for three marks is that on this one. But if you want to make a decision, we'll check two comma twelve. 
let's go to comma 12. So this is not a 1% table. Let's go 1% table. This is not a 1% table. So 2 comma 12, 1%. So 2 under 12, 6.193. 6.93. So 6.93. 6.93. So in this case, we're going to fail to reject H of equal smaller than that. So do we reject? What's the significance? So whenever we fail to reject, there's no significant difference. So this is how the ANOVA comes and uh, I agile you to go for it. It's very easy. So we've done the first part of it. We end here. I give you time to rest. I'll give you homework based on what we've done. Have a great day. Sorry, cousin. I've got a question. Huh? What did you say about the rejecting part? Whenever this is more than that, we reject. Mm -hmm. Whenever this is less than that, we fail to reject. Okay. So whenever we're rejecting, yeah. there's a statistical difference. Whenever we're failing to reject, there's no statistical difference. So here we fail to reject because it is smaller than that. So the question is at one percent, can we reject in our hypothesis? No, we can't reject. It's insignificant. We don't have sufficient evidence to reject. So it's insignificant. Is that clear? Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you, it is.